the best uses for drones on your farm in 2021. That is coming up next. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you for stopping by. Today, we're focusing on drones on the farm in 2021. If that's a topic that interests you, make sure you hit like and subscribe. We got a bunch more coming in the coming months. We are really gonna focus on drones and agriculture. Aerial Influence has been working with agricultural drones for almost five years now. It's hard to believe, but we have never seen the amount of interest in ag drones that we've seen over the last few months. We've been getting calls almost every day, somebody interested in using drones on their farm. Uh, we love it. Keep coming to us, give us a call. Um, we're happy to answer any questions that you might have, give you a little bit of insight into some of the work that we've done. But let's get started today. We're talking how drones are being used on farms in 2021 and how you might wanna consider using one on your farm. Let's get started. First, let's talk about mapping both RGB and multispectral. Drones like the DJI Phantom 4 RTK make amazing ortho mosaic maps. It makes things quick and easy and it gives you centimeter level accuracy on your maps. You can literally take measurements using the maps that you generate from the Phantom 4 RTK. And it's gonna be almost as accurate as you standing out there with a tape measure, measuring it yourself. Really incredible technology. It does not take long to learn how to use this software. It does not take long to learn how to use this drone. You can fly a map, depending on how big the area is. You can fly a map in a couple of minutes. It really is that easy. And it's all self-automated. So you basically go into your remote control, or you could do it through DJI Terra on your computer if you want to but you go in and you set the area that you would like to map. The drone comes up with its path. It comes up with the different angles it needs to take so that it can make a full 3D map. And then you put those photos into DJI Terra, which creates your 3D model. This gives you the ability to see the change in your terrain over time. You could do a map every single day if you wanted to, take a look at each individual day and see how things are changing. It can help with irrigation management and all sorts of other issues on the farm when it comes to your land. The other drone we recommend is the DJI Phantom 4 Multispectral. It's very, very similar to the DJI Phantom 4 RTK. You can do many of the same functions with it, except this one also has a multispectral sensors on it. You get six of them. You get an RGB camera and five other sensors that are gonna give you an idea on your plant health so that you're not surprised when half of your field dies. You're gonna get this drone up in the air. It's gonna be able to tell you if there's a certain section of your field that is struggling so that you can go out, you can figure out what's going on and come up with a prescription to fix it before it's too late. These are really, really powerful tools. And like I said, they are not that hard to learn. I know it seems like a lot. If you're not somebody that is super tech savvy, that's what we're here for, to answer questions, to help you get through this process and to help integrate drones into your farm. Next up, let's talk about seeding in spring. Now you can take the information that you get from the Phantom 4 Multispectral and you can upload that to your DJI Agrash T20. This is a giant agricultural spraying drone. It also has a spreader you can put on. It can carry 20 liters of pesticide and can cover more than 20 acres in an hour. Really amazing technology. What's great about this is it actually cuts back on your need to use pesticides. So by using the DJI Phantom 4 Multispectral, you'll see the areas of your field that are weak. You're gonna be able to figure out a prescription for it, and then you're gonna be able to spray that area. And instead of covering the entire field, you're gonna be able to just cover that problem area. It's gonna save you some money on pesticide. You can also use a drone like this for other things on the farm. We actually loaded it up with some liquid de-icer and used it on our driveway. We had a bunch of thick ice there after we had a snowstorm and then a little bit of rain that came. Uh, so we used that on our driveway and it worked. It's a really great tool. I know it's intimidating, but it's great to use on the farm for many, many different reasons. Next up, let's talk about pollination. Pollination, I know that wasn't something we had actually thought about either, but we had a customer last year who actually landed his airplane in our backyard, that was kind of cool. But he was interested in using our big spraying drones like the T16 or the T20, the ones that have the really big blades on them. He wanted to use that to pollinate his field. Sounds kind of crazy, but it's actually pretty simple and could be pretty useful for many people on the farm. They just fly really low over the plants, that kicks things up and pollinates the rest of their field. Really interesting way to use a drone. Next up, let's talk about livestock monitoring. Do you have a lot of sheep? Do you have a lot of cattle? Well, using a drone could be a good way to keep an eye on them. A farm in New Zealand used the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise series. This one has a speaker on it. What they did is they recorded a dog barking into the speaker, then they play that bark out through the drone itself, through that speaker. You can see it here. And they found that it's been a really good way to herd their sheep and cattle around the farm. You could also use a thermal camera. So the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual has a low grade thermal on it. But what's great about that is you could actually take this drone out 
at night if you've got the proper authorization to do so. If you don't, we can help you get that as well. But you could take that drone out at night and actually get their heat signatures. So you could count, you could see all of your sheep, all of your cattle, you could see their heat signatures in the middle of the night and know exactly where they are. You're gonna know if there is a predator around. You could see coyotes or any other predator that is around your farm and make sure that you are taking the proper steps to protect your animals. Next up is crop scouting. Now recently we've started working with a company named Hudson Crop Insurance. They are using drones with their insurance adjusters around the country to investigate claims. So they're able to pop the drone up. In this case, it's a Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom. They've got six times zoom range on that drone. So they can investigate a claim without having to send uh, an adjuster out into the middle of a field where they could potentially roll an ankle and get hurt, fall down. Any number of things could happen. This is saving them money. It's saving them a lot of time. It's cutting way down on the time it takes to complete a claim. So really happy to see Hudson Crop Insurance using drones in this way. And we think more and more people around the country are gonna start using them in the exact same way. All right, so we are clearly just scratching the surface on this. There are many uses for drones on the farm. What about you? Are you using a drone on your farm? Are you using it in a way that I didn't mention here today? Let us know in the comments, but make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. I hate doing those sort of plugs, but I think in this case, if you are interested in drones and agriculture, we are gonna be covering a lot of this information over the coming months in our videos, and we don't want you to miss it. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.